Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for March 14th. March 14th is the 73rd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 74th in leap years, with 292 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is bumper. Bumper is usually a noun, but also has a definition as an adjective. As a noun, bumper can mean a device for absorbing shock or preventing damage. It can mean one that bumps. Bumper can mean a brief interval on radio or television filled with music, video shorts, or voiceovers that mark a break between program and commercial. Bumper can mean a brimming cup or glass, or something unusually large. As an adjective, bumper means unusually large, as in a bumper crop. The word bumper evolved from the word bump, whose linguistic origin meant bulging out, possibly of Scandinavian origin or else Latin. This one was a little hard to pin down for sure. First known use of the word bumper varies by definition. The brimming cup or glass definition goes back to about 1670, and the other definitions began to see use in the 1800s. Bumper. And with that, let's start with the birthday of German painter and engraver Ludwig Emil Grimm, born March 14, 1790. His brothers were the well-known folklorists, Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm, authors of Grimm's fairy tales. Emil, being the visual artist of the group, did artwork for his brother's book. Eli Whitney was granted a patent for the cotton gin on March 14, 1794. It's a machine that quickly and easily separates cotton fibers from the seeds and is quite a bit quicker and more efficient than doing so by hand. This is the birthday of Albert Einstein, born March 14, 1879. He lived to the age of 76. On March 14, 1900, the Gold Standard Act was ratified. This placed the United States currency on the gold standard. The gold standard is a monetary system in which the standard economic unit of account is based on a fixed quantity of gold. In other words, the value of the dollar was tied to the value of gold. Under that system, dollars were legal tender and were redeemable in gold. This stood until 1933 when President Roosevelt, FDR, took us off the gold standard. March 14, 1964, Jack Ruby was convicted of killing Lee Harvey Oswald and sentenced to death. Lee Harvey Oswald, as you might know, was the assumed assassin of President John F. Kennedy. Oswald had been arrested for the assassination of President Kennedy in Dallas, Texas in November of 1963, and Ruby shot him in the jailhouse. So his trial and conviction was actually concluded pretty quickly. A year and a half later, in October of 1966, the Texas Court of Appeals also thought that this trial was concluded a bit quickly and reversed the decision on the grounds of improper testimony and also the idea that there was no way Jack Ruby could have gotten a fair trial in Dallas at the time. Jack Ruby never made it to that second trial, though, because he died of a lung cancer complication in January of 1967. Interestingly, he died at Parkland Hospital, the very same facility where Oswald died and where Kennedy had been pronounced dead. On March 14th, and that's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoyed this series, you could check out the playlist that includes these videos. I'll have a link in the description to that. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include the link to my blog page that will also have all those links. My blog is called No Really. And you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Getter. All those links in the description.
Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.